catch up. I just gotta catch up. Catch up on everything. What's up guys? Welcome to another Monday with number six with cheese. Today we're gonna tell you who has the best ketchup out of the four biggest brands we could find at our grocery store? Tune in and find out. Also, big Patreon shout out to Michael Reeder. He donated the year up front's worth of a $10 per month donation. He got 10% off, 108 bucks for us here at Number Six with Cheese. Michael Reeder, we love you. Hey, it's time to get Monday drunk. Cheers. Cheers. Dosakis. Dosakis. Dosakis again. Love some Dosakis. It's become the palate cleanser of choice, based on because that's what we bought it and we got to drink it uh, for these videos. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we told you guys we're doing four of the best ketchups. We got Sir Kensington. Mm -hmm. We've got Heinz. Mm -hmm. We've got. It's just called 78. Yeah, 78. That tall bottle. I had never heard of that before. No, I see it, but never had it. Yeah. And then lastly, red gold. I'm pumped. I know very little about ketchup other than like whatever's in front of me. Right. Like if a diner has it, if it's at a barbecue, I never really buy a bunch of ketchups. So today we're gonna run the gambit with some french fries and uh, pick which one we think's the best and then do the reveal in this answer key right here. But uh, I'm ready to go. All right, let's uh, start dipping. This one is ketchup one. Brown and like thicker looking. Like that is like, oh, like damn near clumpy. Yeah, it's very clumpy. Ooh, that's a good ketchup. Oh wow, it's so different. That's a really good ketchup. Looking at them like that. Yeah, we got two browner ones and then two that are like kind of the classic red. I mean, this looks like McDonald's ketchup in the second it one. It does, it absolutely Very does. Red. That's a good first start for that. That's good too, it's kind of a classic ketchup. I think I like this better. That feels like probably a Heinz mm -hmm. or a red gold to me, if I had to pick. Because it looks exactly like diner ketchup. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I really like that first one. This looks like a damn barbecue sauce. I could eat french fries all day. Right. This is so dark brown. Yeah. Wow. Also good. Mmm, that's something weird at the end. I had a little flavor at the end that was... Interesting. I would... It's I'm... unique. Let me try this last one over here. That doesn't like satiate the ketchup vibe to me. It's a little too different. Like if I want ketchup... Yeah, like it's not bad. That's just like not ketchup to me. Yeah, it's definitely, yeah, I, I see what you're saying for sure. It has like no tomatoiness. Hmm. I'm like dumbfounded by this, but also intrigued. Yeah, not my favorite. It's like sticky too. That's probably all the sugar. Yeah. Wow, that's so weird. Last one's such a classic. Hmm. So both the second and the fourth one are like classic ketchups. I'm gonna guess. Sir Kensington's, Heinz, 78, Red Gold. I agree. I'd be shocked if that's not it. And I, like I said, I don't know a lot about ketchup. I just, I, I have a hunch. I, I definitely agree. I think these two could be swapped. Yeah, potentially. Like this could be Sir Kensington, this could be 78, mm. this could be Heinz, that yeah, could be. Yeah, that's a good point. Red Gold. Because mm -hmm. these are both super similar. Is one of these better than the other? I think that classic one is like satiating my ketchup vibe. Like, I love that. More than that classic one? I think so. This is really good too. They're so similar. While you're doing some more taste tests, I'm gonna tell you guys the pricing we got on these. Ooh, yeah. All right, the Heinz ketchup, 14 ounces, 2.99. Red Gold, 20 ounces, 3.29. The price per ounce is probably pretty similar there. Sir Kensington ketchup, 20 ounce, 4.99. Jesus. So that once again, Sir Kensington's definitely the most expensive. And then 78 is 17 ounces, 3.99. Okay, okay. So those are definitely, those two are more expensive. Whatever this is, I would never buy that. No, I don't think I dig that. I think that's one of the two clear factors to me. These two are still really similar to me. I can't really pick. I don't know what you would put this on. It's like, evaporating in my mouth <laughs> before my tongue can figure out what's going on. Am I metabolizing it? I, that's so weird. Hmm. Okay. I'm having a tough time I'm gonna try switching the order that I eat these in. I'm having a tough time picking one between these two. Our great world leaders are all getting mad at each other about all this stuff. They should just sit around and eat some ketchup. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. This one I originally thought was far and away the best, but I haven't revisited in a while. That would be really good on like a gourmet burger. Mm. This is my favorite ketchup. That's it's really good. It's so, it feels fancy. It does, it's not, oops, that's for Farley now. It's a, it's, it's not a classic taste. No. But I kind of like that it's a little different. Same, why do the same thing, uh -huh. you know? Now, I was wrong in the mustard video that I thought I knew what Sir Kensington says. I really think I'm right on that. Yeah. I love when we're wrong, though. It's <laughs> fun. Not in the rest of life, but in this circumstance, <laughs> I dig it. Mm, 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 mm. That is really, this is really good. This is like blowing these away to me. Yeah. I've never done like two ketchup side by side, let alone four. Yeah. So this is like my taste buds are blowing, blowing up. So, can mm. you put your finger on the difference between these? Is one more sugary or anything like that, or is it just so subtle? It's hard to say. Let me try to verbalize. So I'm having a tough time with. Differentiating. Yeah, let me, answering that question, let me really. Okay, that one has more like tomato-y, like what I assume like a yeah. true American ketchup is. Okay. Where this one doesn't, and it's a little sugarier. Okay, okay. It's also like a little, like, a, a little more of a cooling kind of effect to it. Mm. It's almost like, this is gonna sound insane because it's ketchup, a little more like refreshing and lighter. Okay. A little airier. That's just kind of what I'm getting if I'm trying to like really get in the weeds with it. Okay, I feel confident. I feel confident about my one through four. Yeah. Of how I, how I score them taste wise. All right, should we write them down? Yeah, I'm ready. Ready for our reveal on our cards? Let's do it. All right, one, two, three. Boom. Bam! I'm always curious to see how ours lined up. I know, me too. That's like my favorite part. Ketchup one, first place. Absolutely. Ketchup two, you tied second, the second one and the fourth one, which yeah, are very I, similar. I, I couldn't tell the difference. Like, so. And then by far the, the worst. Not even close. So, so I was pretty much spot on with yeah. you. So instead, I put this one at third. Yeah. This one had a little bit more classicness to it that made me like it more. Yep, yep, yep. Um, wow. Okay, so very similar. I'm very, really similar on that one. Very interested to see us. Yeah, now it's time for the reveal. Let's kick you guys over to Reveal Cam 2023. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, this will be one, two, three, four, in that order. Mm. Right, right. Spot on. Spot on. Yeah! That was really good. Is that the first time we've ever got something right on the reveal show? I got one of them right. Oh I my did. god. I might be wrong on that. Okay, you know, you might have. I think you actually absolutely did. I think I one of the beer or something like that. Uh, this is my first time having one right. Yeah, Sir Kensington's is the best. It's worth the price tag. Yeah, I mean, that was really good. It's one way to look at it. If you don't mind spending five bucks on a condiment, but this would last you a while. That's the good thing about ketchup, unless you're a psychopath. When you buy a bottle, to me, it lasts like a long time. Like, I don't go through them very fast. I used to think that. I've been cruising through ketchup. Oh, okay. I buy that red gold right there. Mm -hmm. I keep it in my fridge, which apparently is my only second place, I should probably reevaluate. Yeah. And because I eat french fries as a late night snack and then I dip the hell out, I do big scoops. Right. It's almost like it's chips I and also salsa. put prop in there mm. and then scoop it. Yeah. And so it goes pretty quick. I can't believe how confident I felt not really eating a lot of ketchup either. Also, just because this is the best doesn't mean that there's not room for this. This to me, like if you have both of these in your fridge, they're like used for different things. Like I, like, I kind of like this as like a quick late night fry thing, I'd love to use this more in like sandwiches and stuff. Well, yeah, yeah. Like where this is like, I, I'm kind of used to that. This is the, like the, the fun one. A little more gourmet. Ketchup just got real. I ain't wrong. Wow. Well, you know what, they recovered pretty well after the uh, mustard fiasco, so good they for did. you. They did, they really did, they bounced back. All right, well, wow, we learned a lot today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, new videos Monday through Friday, and then today, to comment with you guys after you've liked the video, what's your favorite ketchup? Simple, simple as that. What, what's your favorite? Uh, if you want to say why, whatever, what do you use the most? And um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. That's right, guys. Thanks for being here. Double X. Sure. I'll have a drink. Don't sleep on Dos Equis. Stuff's good. Mm-hmm.